Oh, Tatian, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is, but I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. You'll find they have little love for bearers, and they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor. More than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I sent you. I shall return as soon as I find something. Sergeant's got it in for us too. <laughs> Where's your commanding officer branded? Don't you know the training grounds are for real soldiers? Hey, you lost or something? Sorry, but the Imperial Guard's got no use for your kind. The infantry always needs more bodies, though. I'm just passing through. I don't bloody believe it. The bastard's wearing the moon and stars. That'll be why he's strutting about like he owns the place. The dame laughed when we offered her our protection. You reckon this prick's really worth a couple of the Emperor's finest? <laughs> I dare say those ways of finding out. How about it, Branded? Care to show us how you earn that brooch? 
I'd rather not. Oh, no doubt. Only chivalrous souls that we are. Robin and I need to know the dame's being properly looked after. <sighs> Fine. If it'll put your mind at ease. Oh, and just so you know, I won't be holding back. I suggest you don't either. Take a moment to get ready if you need it. Wouldn't want you whining about an unfair fight. Now, let's get the measure of you, shall we? If that's what you want. <laughs> Cocky bastard. All right, let's be having you. Oh, and when you go crying to your mistress, tell her it was Leon who gave you the pounding. Use all the dirty tricks you want, Brandon. Alright, so you know one end of a bone from the other. Someone heal me, damn it! Fuck me. What the hell are you playing at, Leon? Huh. So it's a real challenge he wants, is it? Fine. Sword up, bearer. Let's have some fun, shall we? How the bearer win the Dane's favour anyway? I know he needs to hold my tongue for a start. <laughs> I'll give you that. <laughs> Gash. The bastard didn't even break a sweat. The dame's man or no, he's still a branded. Best hope the sergeant never hears about this. Yeah, not after the bullock he gave us for missing drills. Might be the old side at a point. I'll leave you to it. Yeah, good bloody riddance. <sighs> at least we know the dame's in safe hands, I suppose. Do us a favour. If you have to tell the dame about this, tell her we got a good few hits in, eh? And Yannick's done to upset the game. I, I don't know how a bearer came by the moon and stars, but thank goodness I found you. Can I trust you to be discreet? About what? About this. About what I wish to ask of you. About the fact that I, a humble creature, assist the Dame of the Vale in her endeavors. As unlikely as it may seem, there are those within the upper echelons of Sambraquois society who find the Empire's treatment of bearers to be barbaric. All right, but what do you want from me? This town is carried upon the backs of its bearers, and yet many would see their servants starve, not for the want of coin, Simple fare costs little more than a pittance. But to revel in the suffering of others, a simple act of cruelty. Contemptible though it is, my countrymen would sooner cut off their noses to spite their faces than see their bearers fed. And despite my best attempts at secrecy, 
my efforts to dole out comestibles have been noticed. Which brings me to my request. The brand upon your cheek affords you a certain freedom, a freedom I could sorely use. Fine. What do you need me to do? Oh, thank you. An extra meal may not seem like much, but it will make all the difference. Here, deliver these, but keep them hidden. Quickly now. What food I can provide goes where the need is greatest. And today, that happens to be the barracks. Three bearers, overworked and underfed, not permitted a moment's rest. It's no wonder so many die before their time. Tragic, true, but do not let anger make you careless. People will view this act of mercy as an undermining of the Empire's authority. Be discreet for both our sakes, and for the sake of those we feed. Oh, and when you're finished, a word in the ear of one of the dame's girls would be appreciated. You won't be staying, then. I'm afraid not. I am expected back in the capital, and have already risked much speaking with you this long. Crystal's curse is bad enough. We can't let people starve as well. What do you reckon Yannick's done to upset the dungeon? It's not been half a moon since Bell and his tour. And they'd have a smart chicken. Are you waiting for it to heal on its own? Hurry up! Looks like now's not the time. You look like you need a rest. Not half as much as I need this. Thank you. I don't eat it here, though. Not where anyone might see. Has it always been this bad? Oh, it was worse before the Chamberlain. I'd be dead without him. Me and many others. That's something at least. something for you. From the Chamberlain. Thank you. You need to leave. Now. Please. Branded! Who told you to rest? Stow those damn flames! And you! If you've got a message for me, out with it. If not, return to your post. Faster next time if you know what's good for you! Here. It looks like you need it. The 
Lord Chamberlain must have sent you. But alas, my work is far from over. If I don't go now, they'll beat me. You need to rest. But I won't. I've wounds to heal and bones to mend. And what of your own hurts? They'll wait. That's what my hunger. Thank you, but... A drover has more regard for his cattle than the Empire does its bearers. Anyway, I'd better head to the Vale. Ah, that bastard! That's the day done, then. For business or pleasure? Business, though not my own. The Chamberlain put me to work delivering food. Ah, so he found someone to help him then. Just as well. I hear his friends back at court have been taking a little too much interest in him of late. So he really is a Chamberlain? There was a time when he was the Val's most illustrious customer. Us girls thought of him as a generous uncle. He was one of the only people round here who seemed bothered by the way the Empire treats its bearers. Rare for one in his position. A fact not wasted on the dame. A little nudge from her is all it took, and he became the patron saint of Northreach's starving masses. My sisters and I may have lost an uncle, but bearers are being fed for a change, so we don't grumble. <laughs> Much. Glad to hear it. Gives you faith, though, doesn't it? To know there are people out there like him. And you, for that matter. It's no wonder the dame's got a soft spot for you. <laughs> I... better be going. I haven't seen you around the Vale of late. Excuse me. Who there? The gentleman with the sword. I cannot help but notice you bear the moon and stars. So you are an associate of the dames? Might I trouble you for some assistance? You'll be rewarded, of course. And who exactly would I be assisting? Oh, forgive me. I am Etienne. A humble merchant, though fortunate enough to count the dame among my acquaintances. I have business beyond these walls, but the guards have grown somewhat suspicious of my comings and goings of late. I was hoping someone might be kind enough to go in my stead. And who better than someone in the employ of the Vale's proprietress? Would you be willing to help a fellow in his hour of need? Why not? Marvellous. The task is simple enough. Pass through the gate and deliver packages to a few of my most valued clients. There are three in total. A grocer, an apothecary, and a distiller. You need only mention that the items you carry are... fresh from the master's table. Nothing dangerous, I hope. Why, of course not. Uh, merely trifles, which folk beyond the checkpoint are keen to get their hands on. And though I cannot prevent you from peeking, I advise that you don't. Strongly advise. Oh, the markets are a miracle. That's the day done, then. <sighs> Drinks. If the right you there! Any Fancy a drop of the Empire's fine? Well, Give me one of those plums! What are you just your eyes? I warn you now, I don't sell to your kind. 
whether you have the coin or not. Where's your master, anyway? Etienne sent me. Didn't know he had his own bearer. Business must be booming. All right. Quickly now, before the guards notice. <sighs> that is no burden off my back. And this is for Etienne. All this for a drink? Not just any drink. The very best, specially distilled from our most discerning customers. The guards find that, they'll seize it before you can blink. You keep it well hidden, all right. If Etienne likes it, tell him there's more where that came from. For a price, of course. Of course. I have no business with Branded. Well, I have business with you. A package, fresh from the master's table. I do not know you. Where is the merchant, Etienne? Somewhere the gate guards won't be paying him or his affairs any mind. Fine. Hand over the goods and be gone. This is lighter than usual. Branded, if I discover you have played me false... I can always take it back. You will do no such thing. Your master should cut out your insolent tongue. Had you been the tool of any other man, I would see you clapped in chains. Payment. Take it and get out of my sight. Cigars. Those cigars are worth more than your life. Do be careful. You won't find carpet! There's nothing here for your kind, Branded. Go on now. Shoot. I have a delivery from Etienne. Fresh from the master's table. Why didn't you say so? <laughs> Times are hard. But this here will make them less so. For a while, at least. Sorry about the welcome. I meant nothing by it. You wait right here. Here. You can tell Etienne I'm a man of my word. Perfume. Oroflam's finest. Just as promised. Perfume, cigars and spirits. Someone has expensive tastes. The question is, how can they afford to maintain them? I suppose there's only one way to find out. returned. I believe these are yours. Delightful. The dame will be pleased. You don't say. And would she be pleased to learn what you had to exchange for those items? You mean the crystals? No need to be coy, my boy. Why not just tell me in the first place? An honest man wears deception like shackles about his ankles. I couldn't risk you stumbling under the gaze of the guards. After all, we both know the punishment for dealing in unsanctioned crystals, even such morsels as I provide. And if you don't know what this day's work may have cost you, then, well, I dare say you'll sleep all the better for it. Despite the risk, our friends beyond the war gladly give their finest and most treasured wares for the paltry crumbs I trade in. I didn't realize crystals were so scarce here. As scarce as chocobo teeth, hence the thriving market for even the scantest fragments. 
Do you think it vulgar that I profit from the hardship of others? I think you're doing what you believe is necessary. Yeah, indeed. And I don't doubt the dame would agree. A reward for a job well done. I have the goods I was commissioned to gather, and the guards are none the wiser. I thank you. As will our mutual friend when she hears of how you have aided me. See you tonight. Orafla, how many bearers suffer to keep your granaries full? Enough for today, branded. For what? Did they tell you nothing? A wild beast is savaging my boy! Well, don't just stand there gawping! Rescue him! All right, where is he? My! I see they've sent me a branded with a spine for a change. He's over that way, towards the coast. Go, and see that you kill the beast. Someone whose son's in mortal danger. He didn't seem all that worried. Something's not right here. I need to be careful. But the wolf! It's going to eat me! Not if I can help it. You are supposed to die! Father will have you whipped for this! Bearers aren't supposed to win, they never win! What is this? Your father said you were being attacked. You're not supposed to talk. Stop looking at me like that, we were only having fun. Having fun? Why are you still speaking? Father will hear of this! work, no doubt. But it's not the wolf that's to blame. Someone needs to put an end to this, before it happens again. My son. 
You slaughter his poor pet and then have the gall to return, head held high. That wolf was trained. Better trained by far than your worthless kind. You are the entertainment, nothing more. And we are most certainly not entertained. Nor am I. You'll pay for what you've done. See, I told you, he talks too much. It's not right. I don't like him, father. You're not the branded I bought, are you? How dare you deceive me? Well, the sins of the slave are the sins of the master. Go! Summon the unlucky wretch you answer to. That unlucky wretch would be me. I'm my own master. I'm beholden to no one. And I take orders from no one. Lies! Do you think I cannot see that brand on your face? Shut your mouth and listen. Those bearers you killed, they were people. They felt fear and pain, just as you do. And unless you wish to share in their suffering, you would do well to remember we are not your playthings. Father, he's scaring me. How dare you threaten us? How dare you? Can't we just buy another hound? A bigger one, a better one? Of course, my son. I'll have the villagers fetch us another. With jaws powerful enough to nip this branded's head clean off his shoulders. I'm wasting my time, but I can't just leave those bearers lying out there. They deserve a proper burial. That much I can do at least. How many bearers have lost their lives to this nobleman's sport? Victims of the nobles' games. You must be Clive. How do you know my name? The dame. I'm in her service, like yourself. Never gets any easier, burying the dead. Is that what you're here to do? The mistress has me see to it that none are left to the crows. Since you're here, can you give me a hand? Gladly. Let's put them to rest. May their burden finally be lifted. I take it you slew the nobleman's pet? I did. Now I expect they'll find another soon enough. And when it gets here, more bearers will die. How can they think so little of sending us to the slaughter? Simple. Because you are not them. Bearers are tools when they're needed, and toys when they're not. And if one breaks, well... You can always buy another. Still, such attitudes don't always go unpunished. Father! Father! Is this your doing? Of course not. Wolves kill. It's in their nature. Invite one into your home. It's gonna tear your throat out eventually. Same with bearers. Fed or not, they don't lack for fangs. What will folk do when they bite back, I wonder? The realm's less two murderous bastards, and I won't mourn the loss. 
Here. For the help. You don't have to. Take it. You never know. Our past may cross again. Till then. <laughs>